Assalamu alaikum friends, I'm Dr. Mahdi Hashim from Madan Software Channel. Welcome back to our tutorials. Today we'll start a new course about SQLite databases. But first of all, let's take a brief about SQLite and the difference between SQLite and MySQL. Simply, SQLite is a serverless database or self-contained. Also, it can be described as an embedded database which means that the database engine runs as a part of the application itself. For example, SQLite database will be saved and run in the device itself without the need of a server or a client. Each application in your device has its own unique space in the internal memory to save its local data including SQLite database. For example, if we click the device file explorer, and look for data and data, we will find that all the application's packages names are saved. And this is a place where the SQLite database will be saved. On the other hand, MySQL requires a server to run. MySQL will require a client and server architecture to interact over a network. Okay, let's take a look at the demo application. This application is designed to save students' information such as ID, name, grade, parent phone number, age, and the student's photo, and allows us to pick the photo either from gallery or using mobile camera. This course will include seven tutorials. Tutorial one will be about how to create a SQLite database in your application and how to test it using database browser. Tutorial two will be how to insert data in the SQLite database. Tutorial three will be about how to show the saved data in a list view and how to show the details in another activity. Tutorial 4 will be about how to create APS list view options menu and how to delete a record from the database. Tutorial 5 will be about how to update data in SQLite database. And tutorial 6 will be about how to add a record to favorites list. And finally, the tutorial 7 will be about how to make search in SQLite database.